Give me a break. That is exactly what went through my mind when I read this quote by Dr. Niels Berkman. And he goes on to say that changes to the brain brought on by stress hormones may make it more difficult to form relationships later on, leading to problems such as promiscuity. And then he goes on to suggest that you need to bed share for three to four years to best avoid these sorts of issues. You have got to be kidding me. So if you don't bed share, your child will have such a low sense of self-esteem will have such a need for inappropriate means of getting approval from other people that they're just going to sleep with whomever crosses their path, that nothing else in their environment, nothing else throughout the course of their life is important. What about, you know, the importance of good role models, healthy men, healthy women, healthy people in their communities showing and modeling how to properly interact with one another, how to show a range of emotions from happiness to sadness to anger. What about um, things such as a stable family life or a stable community that can fill in the gaps if things happen to be rocky at home? What about the importance of sex education where the your child, as they get older, are taught how to value themselves, how to protect themselves, how to stay safe. What is real love and real connection and real commitment? That can only happen if you bed share for three to four years? You've got to be kidding me! Look, there are a lot of benefits that come from co-sleeping and a lot of these same benefits also come from baby wearing. We are mammals. We are born with an extremely immature brain. And in order to form the proper connections, we need touch. We need to touch our babies. We need to play with our babies. We need to speak with them, sing with them, rock them. We need to introduce our babies to their community, whether that is, you know, a, a, a father, an aunt, an uncle, your friends. We need to let them explore their environment, to ask questions, to feel safe and move forward in life while we as parents are supporting them and guiding them appropriately as they move through all these different things that they will encounter. And to say that if you don't bed share, therefore you will have promiscuous children, it's, it, it, it's it, it's so preposterous, I, just, I can't even wrap my mind around this, okay? There are parents in Canada raising well-attached children every single day using a variety of parenting techniques, a variety of parenting techniques because they choose to meet the needs of their children whether their child is crying and they're trying to figure out if the baby needs a diaper change, a feed is too warm, too cold, too something, you know, whether they're teething, any given means. And that includes parents who baby wear and who don't bed share.